Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Expand your Shopify store's reach in 2023 by connecting Pinterest into Shopify. This guide will take you through the integration process allowing you to showcase your product to a broader audience through this visual platform. So let's get it started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, obviously the, thing, the first thing that you got to do is simply head up to Shopify.com and click on the first link that will be appearing to you. Here we go. And then log into your account, obviously, by going to login or start with the free trial. Now into the login, if you do have more than one store, you will have to choose one of them. So I'm going with this one. And there we have it. So now to connect both Pinterest with Shopify, it's very easy, guys. Simply the first thing to do is simply head up to your apps it will be on the left side menu then here click on apps the second thing is click on all recommended apps and then click on Shopify App Store like that now we are on the market app of Shopify click on it and then search for Pinterest or it will be shown as first uh, apps here so let's click on it directly and click on install and just like that you will see it be taken to another page where you have to install the app inside of your website so let's add it as a sales channel and there we have it here it is my store Pinterest everything is working well so and yeah this is perfect now we have to connect to our Pinterest account by clicking on connect Pinterest account and then continue with Facebook or with Gmail whatever you have give access and there you go and now continue the setup you will have to add some billing address so let's fill them right now very easy let's wait until it loads and this process is very easy guys and we have already made like 90 percent of the integration process so we just have to fill some informations uh, it is not really a big deal from now on so let's just refresh this if it didn't work from the first time let's wait for it until it loads and basically here you just have to put some billing address like your address your payment method etc so the full account creation will be good and ready to go uh, otherwise you are already ready to go everything is set to do and all you need to do next is to approve so merchants approve how to get that you have to submit an appeal so here unfortunately catalog is available in other countries just yet now this is the problem in case you would like to have the merchant approved you will be you will have to be accepted you will have to be in one of the accepted countries so if i want to merchant accepted countries pinterest as you can see you can be a merchant in Australia, Austria, Brazil, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Mexico, in the Netherlands, Spain, Switzerland, the UK or the US. So they are very very limited, about 12 to 11 countries in total, so there are not that much of countries that you can uh, actually be emerging through. So what you have to do next is simply, if you want one of these countries, you will have to go either to your settings and make sure to, search, to change everything about your account to that country information, from starting from the store name, into the billing information address, into the currency, into the time zone, and everything here as well, from the weight units, make it as the other country with you and it's global that you use in this country now after you do that you will try and check if it is working if it's not the second thing that I can provide you to do is simply head up and we create a new store right through here click on all stores and then through here click on create a new store from here skip everything and make sure to just change the country but yet when you try to do that the normal way so let me just choose the United States of America click on next they will show you already that there is something missing like you are already not from the US your IP address is obviously not, not from the US so there is something missing in your account you can't really detect it but something is wrong with your subscription or with your account creation so there what happens is they will still create your account in that region but other information starting from the billing address not with the billing address i mean uh, from the uh, the weight the 
the time zone everything will be in the IP address that you own so as you can see here so what we should do is once we try to create a new account we should actually go to all stores and from here before we get to create a new store we have to actually activate our VPN just like that make sure it is working perfectly and then let's log into our account it's gonna take some time and there we go now we are on our Shopify store create a new store just like that very easy guys here skip everything next they have already chosen USA as our country which is perfect for us and there we have it so there is no problem with your creation and everything is working perfectly for us and just like that we have created an account or a website or a store whatever you call it from zero as a USA account now let's check the settings right through here so let's do that go to settings and as you can see everything is made as United States so the currency the time zone everything is actually uh, made as uh, like United States made an account uh, pound as your weight unit unit system is imperial system everything is working perfectly for us so at this time at this point all you need to do is to redo the same thing which is going to add apps Shopify app store and then simply head up to Pinterest and at Pinterest itself you should create a new account normally since you have to like changed your IP address you have to create a new account once more create a new account in the US with the new IP address that you have chosen which is the US IP address and just like that you will be able to integrate both Shopify with your Pinterest account it is not very difficult process guys as you have seen we could make it in three minutes two minutes maximum but since sometimes the reason can be a problem for you that's why I'm showing you all of these showcases because you will not be able to have a merchant account so now here as you can see it looks like another store is already connected to your business account this is the only pr problem that we are facing and then that there is no red mark shown in here it's active the number of feeds is active everything is working well so everything here is actually pretty much ready to go we just have to start working on an account start the integration purpose that we had at the beginning from integrating these two apps depending on what the purpose of your integration between Pinterest and Shopify maybe you want to share your product on Pinterest maybe you want to showcase your product more and make your audience even more bigger through connecting your Shopify account with Pinterest just like that you will be able to actually connect both Pinterest with Shopify without any further problems and yeah guys like that we have arrived to an end for our video thank you a lot for watching if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section I read all of your comments and I will make sure to answer it all one by one if you do have questions guys again make sure to leave them down below thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial